Dr. Nandi, your Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi, your math tutor. I'm here to help you to achieve success in math. I solve every week new problems. So please subscribe to my channel. Please press the subscribe button on the right corner, the red subscribe button on the right corner. I'll come back every week to solve new problems for you. Okay, so without further ado, I will share my screen with you. So this is a problem on proportion confidence interval and I'm going to use the formula. I'll show you how to use the formula to calculate the proportion confidence interval. So the problem states, a survey found that out of 200 workers, 168 said they were interrupted three or four times an hour by phone messages, faxes, et cetera. Find the 90% confidence interval of the population proportion of workers who are interrupted three or four times an hour. So first I show you a diagram of the standard normal curve. This is the Z curve and it's a bell-shaped curve. The center where the peak is the highest on the horizontal axis, Z value is zero. So on the left-hand side of the center, the Z values are negative. On the right-hand side of Z equal to zero, on the horizontal axis, Z values are positive. Now my confidence level is 90%. So I show this by the area in the center by two vertical lines. The area inside those two vertical lines is 0.9, 90% confidence level. And that area is equal to one minus alpha. Now you ask me what is alpha? Alpha is a level of significance, okay? So alpha can be solved from knowing the confidence interval because alpha is equal to one minus C is one minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1. Now alpha is the level of significance and it is the total area in the two tails of the standard normal curve in this case. Now the total area in the two tails together is 0 0.1 and because of the symmetry of the standard normal curve, area in each tail is alpha by two or 0.1 by divided by two, which is 0 0.05. Now we need to find the value of the minus Z alpha by two and positive Z alpha by two on the right, minus Z alpha by two on the left of Z equal to zero, positive Z alpha by two on the right of Z equal to zero. These are called critical values of Z, okay? Why these are called critical values? Because as you can see on the left of minus Z alpha by two, area in the tail is alpha by two. And on the right of Z alpha by two, area in the tail is also alpha by two. So this critical value divides the standard normal curve into two parts, okay? So if you look at minus Z alpha by two, on the left of it, area is alpha by 2.05. And this is the least probable region in which the uh, population proportion will fall. And on the right of minus Z alpha by two, the area that is not shaded is the area where most probably the population proportion will fall. So the critical value is, is called a critical value because it divides the standard normal curve into two parts. One on the left, is the least probable region where the population proportion will fall. And one on the right of minus Z alpha by two is the area in which most probably the population proportion will fall. That is why it is called the critical value. How do I find the critical value? I go to the table, standard normal table, which you can find at the back of a textbook, statistics textbook, or on the web. We look for area inside that table as 0 0.05. 
and then we read off the corresponding Z values. And for area 0 0.05, the Z alpha by two minus Z alpha by two value is minus 1.645. Because the standard normal curve is symmetric, the value of Z alpha by two, positive Z alpha by two on the right tail is also 1.645. And because it's on the right of z equal to zero, it's positive. Okay. Now we need to calculate the margin of error. The margin of error for the confidence interval is given by z alpha by two multiplied by sigma p hat, where sigma p hat is the standard error or the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of p hat. Now sigma p hat is given by square root of p times one minus p in the numerator divided by n, everything under the square root. Since we do not know p, which is the population proportion, we approximate it by p hat, which is sample proportion. So e margin of error is then given as z alpha by two times square root of p hat, one minus p hat divided by n. For the given problem, x, p hat is x over n. What is x? x is a small number. 168 people out of 28 workers said that they are interrupted. So x is 168 and n is 200, giving me a p hat value, sample proportion of 0.84. Now I substitute this value of p hat in the equation for margin of error, which is 1.645 times square root of 0.84 multiplied by, in parenthesis, one minus 0.84, close the parenthesis, divided by 200, everything under square root, which works out as 0 0.0426. So the 90% confidence interval for P population proportion is given as P hat, sample proportion minus margin of error on the left boundary and the right boundary is P hat plus margin of error which in this case works out as 0 0.84 minus 0 0.0426 for the left boundary and for the right boundary it is 0 0.84 plus 0 0.0426. So I do the calculation and I find that the lower boundary is 0 0.797 and the upper boundary is 0 0.883. So what is the interpretation of this interval? With 90% confidence, we can state that the actual population proportion will fall between 0.797 and 0.883, okay? So the 90% measures the efficiency rate or effectiveness rate of the method that have used to determine this interval. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write to me. You can always post a comment and please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel by hitting the right button. In the right extreme bottom, you have the subscribe button. Please subscribe to the subscribe button, please. So that I can come back each week and discuss with you a new problem. I will help you to achieve your goal of success in math, okay? So take care, have a nice day, and I will see you next time, okay? Please subscribe to my channel.